After you defeat the boss, the dwarf boss in the Dwarven Metropolis, you get his crown, which you can wear and get a bunch of special powers, or you can run all the way back down to the sewers and give it to the Rat King and get a new set of powers, the Rat Powers. So let's do that. So I believe we just talked to him. And the Rat King says, is that crown for me? Of course it is. Or else, if you want, you could say, tell me more, and it'll show you all the abilities you get. So let's look at them quick. You... Turn your enemies into rats, and this talent makes them do up to 35% less damage to you. Or you use it twice, so you turn the enemy into a rat, and then you use it on them again, and it makes them friendly, and it also makes it permanent. And then as you level it up, it gives them turns of adrenaline, which I believe makes them move faster and maybe hit faster. And this talent, using the ability on yourself, you spawn an ally rat. And this one, of course, just makes it cheaper. So yes, the hero transform it into a rat for six turns. <laughs> Bosses cannot be transformed. So this is really good, actually, for the demon halls, because you can turn the evil eyes into rats. And you can also do it to them while they're flying over pits, and they turn into a rat, fall down the pit, and they die. It's quite fun. I don't do this often because running all the way back to the sewers is a pit. Uh, but yes, let's do it. Bam, there we go. And look at the king shining. And he's going to start running around super fast, I think. Or no, maybe we should wake him up. There we go. Okay, go. Go, king. Let's zoom out. Run, you glowing, shiny, beautiful thingy. Okay, so now we have to run all the way back up, and then we'll start our guide to the demon hall. So stay tuned. Do you ever wail? Do you ever lay awake at night and think about your Shattered Pixel dungeon run? Is that just me? Maybe it's just me. As I was doing that anyways, I realized how overpowered the Thief's Armband is going to be with an Assassin build, because when you blind the creature, every time you step away, you get a surprise attack. And then I realized I just threw it on the ground, like, earlier. And then I thought, oh, maybe it's still on the ground. And sure enough, there it is. I think I'm probably honestly going to swap one of these out for that. We'll see how it goes. For talent points on the Radomancy, I think I'll go cheaper first because it's one of the more expensive ones. It's like 50 energy per shot or something. I think I'll go cheaper first and then maybe I'll put one in here so it makes it permanent. And then maybe I'll go in here so I can spawn a bunch of them at me. So let's go ahead and make it cheap. The more affordable. So our guide to the demon halls actually starts way before the demon halls. You want to start getting all your prep work done by making sure you have four scrolls of magic mapping. So you buy them from the vendors before you get to here. And if you don't have them all for yet, there's another one here. So, but it's a thousand. So another thing you want to do is buy torches. You want to use the charges to steal? No. We actually want to use those charges to blind people. So buy all the torches and buy all the health potions. Buy an onk if you don't have the onks and buy the magic mapping if you don't have the four magic mappings. But I do, and I believe we're out of money now, so let's go on and get down there. All right, we have made it to the demon halls. So when you are progressing in this game, this is usually the biggest challenge. People are like, oh, okay, I'm starting to figure out how this works, and they get to the demon halls and die, and then you gotta start over, and then you get to here and you die a bunch of times. Anyways, if you have four magic mapping scrolls, one for each level, it'll be super easy. So the first thing I always do is I read it. And then what I usually do is I look for this, and if you identify it here or examine it, you see it's called a floor, nothing interesting, okay. <laughs> so you can't, but it's this thing. This is the demon spawner. This constantly spawns demons, obviously. And if you destroy it, not only does it make the last boss real much, much, much easier, it also gives you a health potion 100% of the time. But we're actually not gonna do that for this run because if you don't, destroy them it's an achievement actually it's an achievement only if you have the bo better bosses challenge enabled so but we're just going to leave them up because we're lazy anyways next thing you want to do is light a torch hey the gave us a torch Ooh, great axe is good corrosion um traps you can actually kind of step on if you go diagonal, you might make it out. Yeah, we took two ticks from it. Not the worst. So the main reason we want to use the magic mapping is because of this disintegration traps and grim traps. Now, I don't see any on this floor, but they are very deadly. And also, it's tough enough just with the enemies. We don't need to make it any harder for ourselves. So being able to see where all the secret rooms are and stuff helps out quite a bit. So there I lit a torch. Once I got into a bigger room, a bigger area, I lit a torch. So let's make sure we eat some food and keep our health up. We definitely want to have a torch lit because evil eyes can lurk in the shadows and they can charge up their little beam and, and get us. If 
where we can even see them. It's horrible. It's the way most people die, and they don't even know why. They're like, how? What just killed me, and from where? No idea. So moving on. Okay, so these guys. Their biggest thing is they will jump at you. See that? So you got to move slow. And look, it went away already. So the main tricks are you see the Ripper Demon prepares, prepares to leap. You see that in your text there, and you see that little red sign. So what you want to do is step away from that because they're not super strong. They, they do a lot of damage when they hit you, but if they land that jump on you, it makes you bleed, and the bleed is guaranteed damage. You know, you can't... Your armor, if you have the strongest armor, it's not going to do anything. It's... Ooh, boomerang. Nice. So that's definitely something avoidable. You get used to avoiding it. So go in here. Um, you know, I'll kill one just to demonstrate. The thing with these, they also have a max damage cap. So if you're like, like me and you have this assassin one-shot build... Like, even if I go invisible, it only hits it for 30, even though my max damage is like 100 and something. I think we just line them up like this. There we go. There we go. And we get a health potion every single time. Nice. I wouldn't recommend walking around with little hit points unless you have a couple blessed onks, because like I said earlier, those evil eyes can hit you up from out of range. Here's one now. So for this one, I believe we'll just walk up and hit it. Well, okay, so now that it's charging, once they start charging up, I don't know if it says anything. Nope, it does tell you the wise will run for cover when it's charging up its death gaze. But what it doesn't tell you is they take like 75 or like 90% reduced damage when they're doing this. So it's not even worth trying to kill them. So you just want to get out of their line of sight. They shoot it at the last place they saw you. So either it's going to hit me here or it's going to shoot it where I just was. Let's see. Okay, I shot it where it last saw me up there. One thing to keep in mind is I did get the Grim Enchantment, but I have this augmented for slow, which I may change just to regular. The slow is just a meme. It's just me trying to get some big fancy numbers, but it's really not the best build. The best build is just going to be a normal augment, aka no augment. Okay, so Succubus, they will teleport towards you. So if you're trying to do a range build, you have to keep them this far apart. If you get like two squares apart, they'll teleport uh, at you and hit you right away. So we'll step in and actually what I'm going to do this time is let's try this blind on the uh, Master Thief. So you may not have this, but if you do happen to get one of them, you use its active on an enemy here. And it's instant, it takes no turns, and now it gives them the blind status effect and cripple. So that's really good. So since they're blind, they will take a turn to get towards you like that. And when they step in, it's just like a surprise deck. It should be at least. Let's see if we get exclamation point here. Yeah, let's see the exclamation point, which triggers the assassin's blade. So that's really good for us. That's something people don't know about blind is that it works in melee. Because during that time when they're away from you, they can't see you. And so it's basically just the same as them coming through a door. Let's go ahead and just use a charge here. So that's a good way to take care of the succubuses. If they do manage to hit you, they have a charmed status effect, which makes it so you can't um, do melee damage to them. So during that time, you can either, if you have really strong armor, you can sit there and just let them hit you while you use like magic weapons on them, like your wands or whatever. Or you can just run away until it wears off. So for this guy here, I'm going to get my surprise attack on him. So I think I'll just go invisible. And we just get the kill. The main parts of this guide you can probably click off already are. Or magic mapping scrolls. And you're good to go. And then once we learn to dodge the evil eyes. And yeah, four magic mapping scrolls, a torch. There you go. <laughs> And GG. Okay, here's one. Let's see if we can get it triggered at us just for a little demonstration. Here we go. So it's charging up. It's going to shoot at us at its last spot it saw us. So we want to run back. While our haste ring is also very useful here. And we'll run back again and see where it's shot. Now it was not going to shoot for a little while. It will shoot again. So we definitely want to make sure and try and kill it before it shoots again. One thing you want to do here is actually consider your positioning. Right now I'm confident I'm going to kill it right away, but I may have wanted to hang out back here. So when it starts to charge, I can get around this corner. Right now, if it starts to charge up at us, we actually have nowhere to go. So if I was actually over here, it would be a lot better because then I could run back this way. So fortunately for us, 
we have an overpowered build. Because that's just how we do. Okay, I'm just checking out these uh, last little areas here. Making sure there's no upgrade scrolls hiding from me. Because that's what we want, right? We want our upgrade scrolls. This is a summoning trap. I think we'll just leave that one be there. Okay, so maybe I'll let this thing hit me to demonstrate. Okay, dodging. Dot. So it's not charming me yet. I'm just... Okay, so there's a charm. So charm is... Uh, they make enemies temporarily adore each other. Cute. So they're unable to directly attack an enemy. However... Um, other attacking other targets is still possible and the shock of pain will lessen the duration. Yeah, so if you let it hit you It'll uh, get rid of it. Another thing you can do I'm is you can still use your Your magic weapons here. You can still use your wands So you can sit here and oops don't throw it. I do that a lot back then. Zap it. I can still zap But the main thing I usually do is I just run away and we watch the little duration tick down here of the charm Ooh, Oh, see I got too far away. So it teleported at me and hit me for free. So that was actually a downside of the haste ring here. It let me run away too fast and I ended up uh, triggering the teleport. So I'll try that again and I'll stay uh, the proper distance. Not sure if boomerangs work. I don't think it does because it's physical. So first thing you get in here, read your match map in. And let's have a look. What's this one? Distortion, not too bad. Grim trap, look at this. Extremely powerful destructive trap. Enough to instantly kill all but the healthiest of heroes. See? So this one actually isn't hidden, so that's good. But yeah, you want to watch out for those. That's why we do it. That's why we use the magic mapping. So, so let's see here. I'm probably just going to kill it. Yeah, oops. And yeah, we'll just kill it. <laughs> Here's your guide. Just kill everything in one hit. That's how you play. No, okay, here now we want to light a torch. So notice our torch is gone. So if you're on zero challenges, you don't have the undarkness challenge on you'll notice um, you may not be used to using torches. And well, you kind of got to use them actually. So here we go. We'll just go ahead and find ourselves a frosty potion. There we are. Throw it over here. Quabam. And loot up our goods. Upgrade scroll. Wonderful. Of course, we're just going to throw it on our sword because we are going... Uh-oh. The hardening wore off. And so I could lose my grim. If I put two more in chance, maybe I'll just throw them on the ring of haste then. Maybe that's what we'll do. I'll leave that there. We don't need it. Okay, so let's see. If we're not going for one shot. So there's charging. So we'll get up and we'll step here and we'll wait. Um, The laser will destroy the door, but it won't shoot through the door. So that's nice. One thing I often do is I step into them. I'm not worried about taking that extra hit if it means I'm in a good position to... uh. To dodge the laser. Yeah, so let's show this one again for science here. Never mind, I killed it. <laughs> a nice little sungrass here. Don't mind if I do. I'll just take a quick little step on there here. There we go. Quick little heal up there. Well, bam. Let's check out that area. So we pass turn here, take a hit. It's charging, we'll just step back and it'll shoot and destroy the door. So we have to think about where we're gonna run to next, probably over here. So I'll fight it here, get the kill. But if it was to start to charge up, at least I know I can go one, two, and I can get away from the laser. So that's the main thing with the, the evil eyes. Have your torch so you can see far enough into the shadows and have your uh, plan of escape lined up. Like right here is kind of the worst spot for him because you have nowhere really to run. When you're stuck in the open, you really don't want to fight him in the open. So I might like head down here and maybe I could wait for it. And then I would like throw a range attack at it and I would try to bring it to me and I'd be able to use these doors and these corners to uh, to dodge it. But fortunately for us, they went through that door and didn't even notice us. So there we go. We got this guy jumping at us. So we'll step back. So it lunges and misses us and we'll go invisible and we'll get the one shot. Um, so I guess that's blocking us there, so we'll go around this direction here. What is in here? Okay. Ooh, it's a summoning trap room. Those are really fun. Assuming you have some kind of uh, AOE damage. 
so what do we have? Let's check out our potions here. A corrosive potion would be really good. Toxic acid is, is okay. Paralytic. Oh, I love paralytic in the toxic. I think we just throw the toxic first, though. In the flame. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just throw this here. Throw it down. You know, summon everybody and have a whole bunch of toxic gas going. And then... You know, maybe we drink the purity. And then we throw liquid flame or something. Another thing we can do is just go invisible. And they all get stuck in the gas. And they can't... Uh, they can't see us and they can't even get out. So that, that'll be fun too. So let's go ahead and drink this here. So if the gas starts coming at me, I, I'll be fine. Just chilling. And then let's just, uh, since this is a hundred percent, let's turn one of these into a rat. <laughs> there you go. It's a rat now. Okay. So now they're charging at me. They're charging their death ray. If I go invisible, does it stop the charge? No, it doesn't. So we are going to have to step back. Ooh, notice since the enemy came with me and kept the door open i got shot by those lasers but notice they also lasered the crap out of themselves as well so that's good for us there's a scroll of recharge in there um i was gonna throw like a potion liquid flame in there but i guess i'll just let the, the scroll recharge and we couldn't have maybe shot our wand of warding and that might have uh blocked the laser i'm not sure let's go invisible we could actually hang out invisible if we wanted to oh no they got out we don't have the checkpoint we're not blocking the choke good enough. So let's go ahead and here and let's get around the corner. And then um, I think we could just probably step up, kill him here. They're still taking a lot of damage from the poison. So I think we're good. Oh, I didn't even notice they were charging. So learn from my mistakes there. And let's go ahead and drink a health potion. I'm, you know, well, I've got two blessed onks, so I can be a little reckless. There you go, that one's charging, so we'll go ahead and just duck around the corner here. And let's see if I can show what's up with this, uh... Actually, no, I don't want to do that. This guy's coming at us, and we know we have one down there, so let's go ahead and start taking evasive maneuvers. Yeah, you're charging up at me already. Ooh, I don't... Left myself in a bit of a tight spot. I'm gonna have to go around this corner. And purity is worn off, so... I'm going to get hit by the poison here. I think this will die to the poison, hopefully. Okay, now we're charmed. Great, so we can see how that works. Basically, what we want to do is we don't want to step further away. We need to keep this one square gap. So if we step here, it'll teleport us at us and get a free hit. And since I have the haste ring, it's easy for me to actually get too far ahead. So what I'll do is I think I can throw a boomerang. Yeah, so even when you're, when you're charmed, even though you can't, like if I try to melee it, it won't let me like click on it. I can't anyway, smack it, but I can use ranged weapons. Go right here. Ooh, the boomerang hits it on the way back. Love to see that. And basically what we're doing is we're waiting for the charm to wear off. And as it wears off, we can use our wands, we can use our range attacks, but we don't want to get further than this. Let's check it out. Let's see if I can make it happen here. I don't want to kill it. I want to kill this guy. Okay, I just want to demonstrate the teleport. So if we get too far, see how it teleported? And not only does it teleport at you, but it teleports and attacks immediately. It's kind of... It's kind of too strong, isn't it? Like, how do they how do they get to do a free attack as well? You know, that's no fun. I think that was the Grim proc. I didn't think Grim could proc on those. Anyways, we killed all this stuff. We got a whole bunch of free experience and free loot. Let's go ahead and bless this last Ankh. Pick up the rest of these. And see what we won. What did we win? A bunch of gold. That was it. Okay. So those summoning traps, they're more for fun. And they're actually kind of more for the experience. The experience that makes you level up and also the experience of life and enjoying the game right <laughs> okay so that's basically it now we're getting on the floor 23 i believe this is the first time we're going to see the scorpios now these guys ramp up the difficulty quite a bit because they run away from you not only are they ranged and they're also a great reason to keep your torches lit to so keep your torches lit folks um, I'll use a liquid flame here because it's easy. Go ahead. You know what? Nah, we'll we'll go this way. We'll go ahead and just zap this. Oh, bam. Look at that. Strength potion. Upgrade scroll. Well, 
I really want to use the upgrade scrolls on this, but I really don't want to lose the Grim because that is a rare enchantment. So I think I will just wait until we find the alchemy station. And then we will uh, turn them into the exotic forms that have a guaranteed chance to... Uh, they're guaranteed not to remove your... Uh, ooh, chilling glaive on that. Not to remove your enchantment. So This is just like a treasure chest and a consumable room. So we can actually skip that. We don't need any of that stuff. Okay, look at look at all these baddies. Baddies being bad. Let's go ahead and make this cheaper. And then we'll go using it twice makes a permanent friend here. So, okay, you are a rat. And now you're my rat ally. See the hearts? And now I believe it'll start fighting this guy. Oh, it does. Let's just watch it, see how much damage it does. It's losing the fight. It's tied. Ooh, it just really came down to the fact that it that it missed. That was pretty close. But anyways, look how much that takes uh, quite a bit. Okay, here we go. The first Scorpio. So if we examine them here, they prefer attacking from long distance and they fire crippling serrated spikes. That's right. Not only do they hit you from range and run away, but they cripple you. It makes you move twice as slow. It's really bad. So since that didn't wake up because we have our haste ring there, I can just attack it without having to use my cloak. It's pretty cool. Hello. If we step back, get it through the door, we get the surprise attack that way. And normally I would just let these guys sleep. That's one thing like amazing with the rogue is you can just like let everything sleep because you got silence steps. Doesn't make for the best guide because it's like can't really give strategies how to kill them if you're just letting them sleep. But actually with these things, if you can avoid them, that's probably the best. I will, I will kill this one. See what happens. So it woke up. Let's go invisible here. Just kill it. Yeah. I do kind of want to check out this hallway, so I will fight this guy. This guy's jumping at me. Did you see that little square below me? So we'll get out of the way from that. It still gets a free hit, but at least it doesn't get the bleed on. So since this is 5 out of 5 charges, let's use it. Step back, let him get close to me, and we get the surprise step. Bam. Watch for the jump. Oh, I didn't even notice that guy was charging up. So I think we don't have a choice, actually, except being hit here. If we were the duelist, we could use the block ability on the great shield, but we're not. We could like step up here. Yeah, couldn't avoid that one. So that's who I'm saying. It was attacking me from out of range. So here we go. Make you a rat and you fall down the pit later. Rat demography was made for, the, for that. I feel like that's the best use of it. Look for the Scorpio. Okay, yeah, so it hit me and crippled me. That's so brutal. So let's just go ahead and get invisible. It's just going to sit there and hit me a bunch of times and then run away. Let's drink a Mind Vision Potion. We have a bunch of them. Oh, we have three of them. Not a lot. What I want to see is if it's coming towards me or not. No, it's not. So let's go ahead and use Assassinate. Close the gap there. Who else is alive? Not much. Just these guys. Okay, great. Go ahead and take this out. I, use it, I like to kill these guys as they spawn or else you kind of get overwhelmed. It's kind of like a balance, right? You want to kill this thing before it makes more of them but you also want to kill them or it makes too many of them so this is a disintegration trap it's brutal don't definitely don't want to step on it i think what we'll do is see what's in here and if it's just gold we'll just leave it we're not buying anything else okay this stuff we don't need either some plate armor which we don't need either okay right, let's move on Oh, why did you go that direction? Why don't you go... Oh, because it's actually quite a long ways away. Okay, so let's we sneak around here. We can get away before it shoots us. Nice. This guy stay sleeping. And the stairs down there. Good. Well, you know, we can see what's in that treasure chest. Why not? Oh, I can't even see what's in there unless I use a torch. Ooh, a healing potion? Yeah, I'll go for a healing potion. Okay, our final magic mapping scroll. So yeah, we see that's up there. I usually like to go for it right away. Oh, I forgot to light a torch. Eeks. That's a bad idea. Long sword.
I hadn't played Shatter for quite a while, and the first time I did, this was all new to me, and I left them all up, and yeah, I, I still was pretty experienced. I, I played vanilla a bunch, and so I made it to the boss, no problem. And um, the boss was really hard because I didn't kill any of those things. And I beat the boss, and then I lost on the ascension because I didn't read it closely. I did the same thing everyone does, which was uh, I just tried to. Oh, okay, it's a, uh, it's in the. You're, you're getting chased by enemies, so let's run out quick as fast as we can and dodge all the enemies. Well, that did not work. The curse gradually got stronger and stronger. So we'll go with the blind. Ooh, yeah, that's brutal. See, if you don't step away, the blind doesn't actually work. This is, um, this is a double crystal chest room, isn't it? Nice. Oh, hello. Didn't even notice. Just let that stay asleep. For the most part, you just want to avoid these guys. Um, if you can, you get to a door and let them come to you. And sometimes they'll get in a little loop where they'll come through the door and you hit them and they immediately run away. And then they come back through the door and you hit them and they immediately run away. That's the best thing. It's exactly the same as the Null Trickster, which is the uh, the quest, the ghost quest for like floor three or whatever. So let's just finish off this right area. Then we'll go to the left here. Is this an identify or a well of health? Ooh, well of health. Nice. Well, I don't know. Let's just drink this. And then like throw it in so we can have some for later. There we go. So you're going to teleport at me and hit me. So we'll go ahead and make you blind. And then we'll just like step back, wait, surprise attack, oh, bam. So yeah, it's the best way to use this thing. I didn't even realize that active was so strong for the longest time. I just used it to like steal from the merchants. But the fact that it's instant... The ability is instant. It doesn't take a turn or anything. That's what makes it so, so, so good. Anyway, so let's check. Um, let's go ahead and check this area. Okay, evil eye. Sometimes I even just want to trigger it so I know I can get away. Oh, you see the, where the shot went? You see it burned all that grass down there? Invisible, let it come to us. There we go. So that was a good place to fight it because I could always just run back around here. So what I did there was it was coming up. I don't know if it noticed me, but I moved down into its vision and triggered the charge attack because I knew I was going to be able to get away. And this is when I love being a rogue because screw all these guys. You just sit in there and sleep. Leave me alone. No one wants to play with you. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, yes. Another awesome thing about the assassin is when you're in these gardens, your assassination charges up. Oh, and if you go invisible at the last second, get it up to nine, hit my cloak. So I'm now I'm invisible. I've got this nine charge just like queued up and go wha bam, get a free kill. It's just fun. Funsies, funsies. So hopefully this thing didn't see me. Good. We just avoid it. And we'll just use our cloak here to get past these uh, piranhas. And it's just more plate armor, which we don't want. Since we're all charged up, might as well use those charges and kill this guy. Oh, bam. Nice. Ace potion. Great. Okay, here we go. This guy's going to see us. Let's make him a rat. There you go. And we can just kill the rat now. Yeah. Soften him up with a boomerang. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I feel like the rat abilities actually just straight up counter the demon halls, don't they? Because all the enemies have their own annoying special abilities and they just they just suck, don't they? How does the blind work on these guys? I'm assuming it's blind. Yeah, it can't it can't charge up its ability and try and kill me because it can't see me. So I don't really care about giving them my um adrenaline. It was just fun to make them friendly. I don't really care. Oh, I could decrease their damage. So when you fight them, I just go, I want to go this one for the funsies. Okay. So 30 minutes into the video, I think I'll stop. And then, so my next video can be 
a last boss guide because we're going to do a whole bunch of alchemy and then we're going to do fight the last boss and ascension so demon hall's guide complete let me know in the comments if you got any questions and if you watch till the end you are the true rat puncher so i hope you keep on punching on cheers